Hello everybody, Technoli here. Today we got another video. We have got a Gigabyte Design Air X299 EX upgrade. I sold this computer back during the pandemic to this gentleman and he's been using it for video editing and it's been working great. Now back then we had running Catalina but he wanted to upgrade to Sonoma, or at least Ventura. But we got Sonoma on it, running great. We also did a memory upgrade. It had 64 gigs, so we put in 128. So there we go. All slots are filled up on the RAM. We also updated the main drive to a two terabyte from a 512 gig. And we put in a data drive, a four terabyte data drive. And this motherboard holds three NVMe. So we went ahead and put his old main two or one terabyte drive in as well. So he's got plenty of storage now. And we also had to upgrade the Wi-Fi card because this had a Fenby card which was natively supported in Mac OS until Ventura. So now we have a $20 Intel based card running Wi-Fi for us. So uh, let's get into this video. We're doing some benchmarks and uh, we're gonna check out how fast this is, if it's still a great computer or has this six year old computer just kind of died away. I think you're going to be shocked at the numbers. Let's get started. Okay, everybody, here we go with this video. Now, of course, we're using Mac OS Sonoma. And uh, this computer, believe it or not, this motherboard was first available in December of 2017. So this is, you know, six years old, but... Uh, Still some fantastic performance. And guys, it's got the Thunderbolt. So uh, for all you guys right here, Thunderbolt. For all you guys that have been using this board for music production uh, or whatever. Now we have the latest EFI for this for Sonoma, Ventura, whatever you want to run. The built-in... Wi-Fi and Bluetooth still do not work on this. And your Fenvi cards that you've been using for years are no longer supported generically. There is a fix, but it's quite convoluted. So I have a $20 fix for that, okay? And let me show you what that is. So if we just go over here to Amazon and I'll Put it in here this is that card right here it's a Lynx tech wireless card i'm using it right now works very well uh, we still don't have bluetooth yet guys so uh, this is for wi-fi and you just plug this in the motherboard and with the kext that is already supported for the efi for this on my website which i'll show you it works beautifully all right if you go over here to technoli and we go over here to purchase efis buy an efi you will see it right here and uh as i've stated it already includes the kex for this okay so this motherboard, you know, came out in 2017 and uh, it still is fantastic. Um, I want to show you some specs on this because I was impressed with it. Uh, this is the i9-9900X uh, that we're running right here. This is a 10-core processor right here. And the, the multi-core scores on this are still extremely good. So all you guys that have 
these X299 Gigabyte Design Air X, uh, EX motherboards, you are ready to go. So let's get started on some uh, benchmarks. Let's go ahead and do black magic. This is to test, test the uh, disk speed of the, from the motherboard to the NVMe. All right, so we have a write speed right here of 2460 and a read speed of 2260. So all good enough to do all of these, this work here. And uh, these are good scores. Remember, these are six years old, so um, these are not going to be mind-blowing, but still very adequate and very good. So let's go here to Geekbench, and we will run Geekbench, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so we are back, and we got some good scores here. Let me show you the specs on this while I'm right here thinking about it. Here we go. This is a 3.5 gigahertz 10 core Intel. We do have a 5700 8 gigabyte graphics card in here and 128 gigs of RAM. Okay. So just to compare your specs with uh, this computer. Now, the difference between 128 and 64 gigs, um, I would not be concerned with. I don't think you're going to notice any difference in these scores. This particular gentleman I built this computer for back during the pandemic, um, he started with 64 gigs, but he does video editing, and so he wanted to update this computer with uh, some serious upgrades. So that's what we did. All right, so we got basically 1,400 and 8,900. Let's look at Real Life Max to see where we sit. So single score is, is testing the speed of the PC with just one core, okay? So let's start with single score. We had 1,400. Let's go down here. And uh, here we go. This is a Mac Mini from the KB Lake days. So these are 2019, 2018. Um, these are not going to be spectacular scores because... This computer is from 2017, which was a beast back then, but the single score speed is not going to be that impressive, but still very good. Let's go to the multi. This is where it shines. 8,900. Okay, so we're right between a Mac Pro Xeon system with 12 cores and an iMac Pro Xeon system with 14 cores. So right in here, uh, now we're talking serious scores, you know, very good numbers. If you come up here to something more current, like uh, this Mac Mini M2 with eight cores, 9,700. So the Mac Mini is beating the score by a little bit, um, but this is the M2 model, not the M1. So it should uh, surpass it. If we upgraded the graphics card to a 6800 uh, Radeon or something like that, these scores would be much higher. But we're doing really good. I'm happy with that. Uh, let's jump into Cinebench. Come down here. We'll run this. And we'll get started. All right, guys, here is our score. It's 13,136. And let's compare that to other computers, other Macs. So 13,136. So we're right here between these two. This is a uh, iMac from uh, 2020, 10, 10th gen. And this is the Apple M2 Max Studio. This is a $2,000 computer. And our computer's very upgradable. This one is not. Okay? So there we go. 14,855. And we're right in between these two. So uh, we've got a little monster here, I would say. All right. Let's get into Logic Pro X. Okay. Here we go. I'll run this benchmark that we always run. 
And uh, this, for all of you guys that do digital audio production, this is going to show you what kind of numbers you can expect if you have yours or if you're thinking about getting one of these used because still a great computer and you can probably get them very cheap. I haven't even checked. So if you guys know this test, for all you newcomers out there, what we've got is we have five plugins on every channel, all 128 of them. But right now we're just showing you the uh, 77 tracks. And we've got an uh, instrument on each one. So these are all MIDI tracks, okay? So let's see if we can run 77. But first, let's get our meter, our CPU meter here, so we know how much pressure we're putting on it. There we go. All right, let's go. All right, so not even 75%, 70% uh, usage here with the 77 tracks right here running it. So let's go ahead and pump this up to 128 tracks. We'll turn them all on. All right, so there we go. And we'll try this. Okay, so we are running right at 98%, I would say. Close to 100%. But here we go. We've got 128 MIDI tracks with five plugins on each channel. All right, so this is really an impressive machine. A uh, little beast. Okay, let's get out of here. Now, I wanted to talk to you guys about the real Max out there. Okay, I was watching a video, Linus uh, Tech Tips. I'm sure everybody knows him. And um, he, was, he did a great video about the new Mac Pro. Okay, this beast right here. And he was like, he bought one, of course, and uh, he did some, some benchmarks on it, and uh, it was not impressive. But the biggest takeaway that he had from it, and I, I invite you to go watch his video, it was excellent, is this is it. Yeah, it's a big beast of a tower, but you can't do anything with it. You can't upgrade it yourself. It's just what it is. It's a big tower looking thing, but you can't change the memory. You can't change the CPU. You can add a proprietary SSD into it. It has one slot for that. So you better buy it the way you want it. So like this computer right here, it has 128 gigs of RAM and it has a two terabyte drive. That would be 82 hundred dollars you could probably get one of these used for under 1500 and i just don't see it what why would you buy this it's not like the intel mac pros that they used to have that were upgradable you can't even put a graphics card in this of your own it's it's done the way it sits so i think that Hackintosh is still the way to go if you want to save some money, but you want a Mac experience. Now, this motherboard, don't forget, this X299 by Gigabyte has two Thunderbolt ports on it, too. So it's another plus. Just a great, great all-around computer. I wanted to show it to you. I wanted to show you the specs. And here again, proving that Hackintosh is still for a lot of us, the way to go that for those of us that don't have $8,000 to spend on a computer. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next one. We've got a massively good video coming out, hopefully next week, that is going to blow your mind. So make sure you're subscribed.